Hi, my name is Sally Hurst and I'm a painter and a printmaker living here in sunny Norwich. My connection with Folk East goes back to when it first started, even when it was in the north of Suffolk as opposed to Glenham Hall. I run workshops in the Art Arcade. I don't show my work there because actually I quite like having some time to watch some of the music. So in the mornings I run the workshops and the afternoons I take part and enjoy in all the Folk East has to offer. I love what I do and I love sharing what I do. When I say to people I'm an artist, they tend not to be too surprised. Um, I used to get lots of questions about, mm, you must paint landscapes then, or can you paint my cat? I don't do that kind of stuff. The stuff you see behind you is the kind of stuff I make. Fairly semi-abstract, very textural, a little bit bonkers, and that's kind of me. I can't tell you how I first started getting into art. It was far, far too long ago. The family story goes, I'm the youngest of six, and my mum was having a nap in the afternoon. I picked up a pen and I filled in all the lines on her face, just as she was about to get up and go and get my sisters from school. So that kind of set the identity. That is what Sally is. Sally is an artist. I always wanted to be an architect. My uncles were architects, but uh, I'm rubbish at maths. There's far too many inspirations and influence to even mention. Uh, John Piper, a lot of the mid-century artists, a lot of the post-war artists, uh, far too many. The lockdown has had a big influence on my work in terms of the fact that I haven't made any. Uh, since lockdown because what I've actually been doing is teaching workshops online that's gone viral and it's gone bonkers and I've been really enjoying it but it has caused a bit of a hiatus with my own work so I'm looking forward to getting back to some of that in October. I have no idea where my work will go in the future. I'm currently halfway through two-thirds of the way through a master's in fine art and that has stretched parts of my brain uh, that I had laid dormant for a long time so I don't quite sure where it's going I have a few ideas there's a few things brewing we'll see if I wasn't an artist I'd be an architect